Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of My DeFi Pack. Today we are talking about the King and Queen contest hosted by My DeFi Pack. Uh, four rounds. First entry, first round was applying. We had to send a CV for for this, um, and we got accepted. We got this email today saying that we've been accepted for round two, which is where they're going to challenge us to post a video in English. So here I go. I'm going to try speak English. You can choose local languages with English captions to promote DPET and the game. Be creative and break your boundaries to release the best quality video from four to 10 minutes. So I've got four to 10 minutes. And what I wanted to do with the video today is, is it's based on like a, a, a pros versus cons video of the current state of the game. Because um, I think there are a lot of cons, but there are also a lot of pros potentially in the future that I want to see come in the game still and I'm holding out for and I'm thoroughly invested in. So I'm happy to have this opportunity. It will mean that we get potential rewards in DPET token up to $400 for each of the local ambassadors. Um, that will, you know, we do watch to earn on this channel. So I like to share the wealth. A company, a company, the DPET team in the near future with certain benefits, the opportunity to put your creative products on NFT platforms and being a representative to participate in the global king and queen contest. So we could have some future big contests later on like where we are battling against each other. Um, the 90, I think they've got chosen. So the deadline is 9th of September. So of course, uh, why not waste, why waste any time? Let's get straight on it. So I wanted to think about in relation to the the, the, the game and the roadmap and where they plan to go, um, where we're at at the moment. So the game is obviously had a lot of bugs recently and that has been a big downside to the game. If we look at the, 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 you know, the game as it is, we do have a fairly stable build now. The, the fact that we have had so many problems does mean that perhaps it <laughs> reduces the likelihood that some of these bosses, these, these bugs will repeat now. We have, you know, a stable egg hatching system. We have a stable breeding system. They, you know, go back a month, they were just completely out of whack. We have a stable reward system in you know the way the farms work we do have what we asked for in cages um they 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 are now all chimera cages for myself bar one barbarian cage to start with but we kind of got that in the wrong way you know <laughs> the full reset did it was yeah it wasn't the best way to go about giving us that but it did mean we got to start off and now they have paid out compensation now so I have had my compensation for that and it works out as, you know, I was at level 52. So you can compare it. It was exactly the same as my Cardia chain account. So I am 48, but I do still have an extra 30, extra 35 million food, which would probably be enough to get me fairly close to there. Um, it'd be a grind to get because you have to get through all your pets in your you know available ones and to be honest i've rinsed like page one to 100 and 400 to, to the end and until they have some filtering system i'm not going anywhere near doing that i'm just going to save that food so the pros are this game has always paid out in compensation in the game they've always rewarded bugs we are in beta so expectations have to be fairly limited in this we we you know they've given us these diamonds which at the moment don't have much value other than speeding time up but i reckon hold on to these things because there's going to be things that you can purchase with them that will buff the stats of your pets one con that i do think is a big one though as much as i support this game is that we've seen payout in rewards in um in in all the things like silver food diamonds We've never seen a payout of DPET. They have promised that they will pay back people's lost gas fees for failed transactions. We're still yet to see that, but they have always made good on the compensation in game. I've just never seen any compensation for other forms of failed transactions before this through bugs, and they've completely skipped past it. Like it never happened, but it did happen and people lost money. So, I would like to see some improvement in the game in that area where we're getting compensation that matches what has been lost. 
The cons are, I think the downside of all these bugs is that it's had just a massive impact on people's confidence in the development developers team to 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 when the updates come out for them to function properly and for people to risk their money. We've seen that in the reduction of price, but it is still really high compared to all NFT games. So let's talk about the positives of this game. And, and I think it just, it lies in the future. We are in beta, we're not at full release. These are all things that are being tested out, ready for when the game is full released without bugs, uh, being you know game breaking bugs. And we've got so much still to come. We have season one boss fight event coming again, and hopefully that will be updated. Staking is coming and it's working in 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 to, to kind of resolve some of the problems that we have where you know you have to place place gas for every single pet. They're gonna make it so it's for all 10 pets being staked at once. They haven't yet added the cell cage feature, but that's in the plans, um, so that's going to be big for the Cardia chain side because obviously we've all been forced to sell our cage. Um, or we didn't sell it, we didn't get anything for it. We're just going, <laughs> just no cages on the reset. Uh, the bank, which is going to increase silver storage. We're going to have Q4, so much coming. Campaign mode, PvP battle, daily quest, world boss, in-game features such as the skill system, social features. Q1, campaign mode, endless tower, pet expedition, mobile app release, limited next gen pet sale and season two super hunger game player to play to earn features in game lending of pets and limited land sale so much still to come and one thing i always think about is like you, what have i earned from my d5 pet at the moment nothing pretty much nothing but when you compare that to one big mistake that's happening in play to earn at the moment is games that are killing off their economy of play to earn because they are play paying out rewards too fast too much too soon and it's just destroying their economies look at games like crypto blades that had the biggest increase i've ever seen in my life of any token in such a short period of time and it tanked in terms of its price but and it remains fairly stable at the moment but they're not able to, in a period of not being able to pay out the the, the skill that people have acquired. You've got other games that are doing the same things. PKMon has completely tanked their economy. And this is a game. You know, this is going to be a proper game like, you know, to compete with Axie Infinity. And to do that, they're going to need to have a stable economy. So whilst we haven't had any play to earn rewards back, this is going to be a potential earner in the long term. And if you think about the current market cap of this, which is about half a million, no, 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 I think you mean half a billion, then think about all those rewards that they have saved to, that they haven't paid out. You know, only we got a couple payout in, um, you know, $50,000 worth of rewards were paid out. That's nothing compared to how many rewards have been paid out in Crypto Blades. And that doesn't have anywhere near the market cap currently and didn't reach it before it was still had 177 million market cap so if you think about all the payments all the rewards that have been paid out for crypto blades that's still probably there in their economy ready to be paid out for things like pvp for campaign mode they're just holding it back so this is going to be an earner in the long term it's just about you know, waiting for that and being a bit more patient, which I don't think we're used to in the play to earn community because games are, you know, providing you with a lot of money up front in rewards because it incentivizes and attracts people quicker than a game that doesn't pay out. So, you know, I think it's a, it's a, it's a the pros and cons of this is, is that the pro is that it doesn't play to that aspect very well, but it does mean that we're going to be getting a game that is going to have a stable economy. The cons of it are obviously it's about time. We're going to have to wait and set our expectations, you know, Q1 probably before we've got a stable play to earn mechanic system that works and earns us money. Okay, well, that's all for this one. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section your thoughts below. Show your support for me becoming a DPET ambassador by hitting the like button and sharing and subscribe. Massively appreciate your help and support so far. Um, I do believe in this project. I do think it has strong 
play to earn features coming in the future. It's just, we've got to wait a while.